fossil fuel companies have managed to capture our government. We have to accept that the interests of the fossil fuel companies are actually completely against the interests of the public, uh, of me and you, of all of us. So this same situation happened uh, within the World Health Organization. You had the tobacco companies who were also trying to influence policy making, who are creating fake funk groups, who are creating voluntary schemes of, uh, for legislation instead of taking tough measures to tackle tobacco companies, who are lobbying aggressively and making sure we didn't tackle uh, public health issues caused by smoking. And in fact, in the WHO, they have banned tobacco lobbyists. They've limited severely tobacco lobbyists at the international level and also the national level. So if we can do it for the tobacco industry, why can't we do it for fossil fuels? When we're facing a planetary emergency, temperatures are rising, and unfortunately we haven't got solutions on the table. So we are fighting to try and get the fossil fuel industry out of the climate talks and away from our policy makers. Not just at uh, international level, but the EU and at national level, because it's our national governments who are going to these climate talks with their positions, and it's at that level that we really need to be fighting this. So uh, yeah, we, together we're trying to build a coalition to make sure that the power of the fossil fuel industry is severely dented and that we ensure that it's not acceptable for fossil fuels and dirty energy to be anywhere near our climate policy makers. Here in Attack University, Summer University, I'm really hoping to make the link between the work we do on climate with other struggles communities are facing uh, extractives on the front line, uh, French national movements working on uh, fracking, gas to schiste, uh, and to try and build a real coalition so that next year, by the big climate talks in Paris, we will have a sizable movement, a big enough movement that we can say this the public rejects the influence and the role that dirty energy is having over climate. And we make sure they're nowhere near our climate policy making. If we want sustainable uh, and decent climate policies that are not just going to save the climate, but also communities and all of us who have to live within it.